Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies. What are we drinking? Today we are drinking Cannibal Farmhouse French Farmhouse Ale. Today we're going to be talking about 1982's Visiting Hours. It is directed by Jean-Claude Lord. He directed The Vindicator. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen it, no clue what it's about, but that movie cover looks tacky as fuck. Yeah, the name of it is yeah. shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, The Vindicator. It stars Michael Ironside. He's like Canada's best export for playing bad guys. Right. He's probably most well known for Scanners. Total Recall. Total Recall. And the bad guy in The Next Karate Kid. That's right. It also stars Lee Grant. She's in In the Heat of the Night. The Call me Mr. Tibbs. <laughs> and The Omen 2. And also, another one of Canada's great <laughs> exports is in this. William Shatner. <laughs> Weave and all. <laughs> yeah, especially in this. It's all perfect. Yeah. So the movie starts off at a TV station. Deborah Balin discussing this case that just happened, this murder trial. She really starts grilling the shit out of this lawyer. He can't even air most of what she was arguing to the lawyer about because it's just far too controversial. There's somebody watching and you see his hand and he's squeezing like a tension ball. Deborah makes it home that night. Things are a little off. There's water running upstairs, so she goes up to investigate. Boom! Somebody comes and attacks her. Yeah. But he's oh, naked. He's, yeah, <laughs> he has all these earrings and makeup. Like, what the hell? She gets into like a dumb waiter and tries to get away from him. Grab the rope and start pulling her up yeah. in the dumb waiter. And he cuts one of the ropes and she falls right out. She ends up escaping from the house. She eventually has to get taken to the hospital because of all of her wounds. At the hospital, she befriends one of the nurses, Sheila. He kind of goes there to finish the job, disguised as like a, a flower delivery guy. <laughs> Can you take these up too? Yeah, and he all does. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's kind enough for that. He gets into the hospital room and he ends up grabbing like the breathing tube and cutting it with his knife. It's the wrong person. He just kind of sits there and just watches her die. One of the nurses actually sees him. He stabs her and kills her. He escapes without actually finishing the job he came there to do. <laughs> right, so he's kind of fucked yeah. up twice. So he's sitting in the parking lot and Sheila gets into her car and she drives off. And kind of get the sense that he's followed her home and she's walking through her yard and she steps on this baby toy or whatever <laughs> and starts doing this crying noise. <laughs> finally see the killer full on not in the shadows anymore and he's sitting in this diner <laughs> one of the waitresses comes up to him oh, would you like to go out some time <laughs> he just blows her right off and <laughs> eyeing up this other woman and they're kind of making eyes at each other and it's like what's so good about him yeah, like he's, he's all, all old and <laughs> shitty and everything and he doesn't even say a word he doesn't say a word and he actually ends up picking this woman up just by yeah. Looking at her and it's like, oh man, I never knew it was that easy. Yeah. <laughs> so he takes her back and he's wearing some sort of weird plastic <laughs> muscle, muscle shirt. <laughs> and you gotta hear it yeah. too yeah. as he moves. And they kinda get a little intimate and then he gets all super rough, pulls out this knife, turns around and like stabs the, the bed and then shows the killer chilling out with this old man and there's flashbacks to when he was a kid and his dad being all weird and being abusive with his mother so you were kind of getting to know what's making this guy tick a little bit he still hasn't finished the job though he still <laughs> yeah. hasn't killed deborah so he's got to go back to the hospital this time disguised as an orderly kills this groucho marx looking guy gets into deborah's room finally and they finally get like a face to face she's all smoking in the, <laughs> in in the, the hospital, hospital. <laughs> He can't even get to her because as soon as she starts screaming, people come in and he gets out and escapes again. <laughs> yeah. Still yeah. without finishing yeah. the job. Fuck. The hospital has become a circus at this point. There's cops. Nobody feels safe. The nurse, Sheila, gets his phone call and all she hears is that toy that she stepped on earlier. So she knows he's at my house. So then she has to go home and confront this guy and we're gonna end it there. So if you wanna find out what happens with Sheila and Deborah and Michael Ironside as the killer, finish watching the movie Visiting Hours. This movie is very underrated. Critics shit all over this movie when it they, first came out. They shat all over it? They shat all over it. <laughs> 
saying it was just a cookie cutter slasher movie with no originality, but I don't see that at all. No, no. And if you watch this movie and you really pay attention to it, you'll see that it's actually a very intelligent movie. At the time when this came out, it was like slasher crazy. Oh, yeah. Everyone was trying to get on that Halloween momentum. But this isn't your typical masked killer. You get to know this guy and you see him and you see his motives and what made him turn into a killer. He's a psychopath. It could be anybody. He's the guy in the next apartment. That's what makes this movie actually scary, yeah. you know, on an intelligent level. And you see him kind of in his own environment. You see him in his apartment. You see him hang out with his dad yep. and all this kind of stuff. You never see that in your typical 80s slasher. Michael Ironside has a lot to do with how good this movie is because mm -hmm. his portrayal of that psychopath is so damn good. Yeah. You almost sympathize with him a little bit. That scene where he's in that laundry room and he's like having that weird trance and there's a great scene where he like has to injure himself to get back into the hospital. Yeah. So he downs all these pills and like <laughs> tapes up his arm and smashes his forearm on this beer bottle and it's like intense and you feel it like oh! Yeah. Like and William Shatner actually auditioned for that role. Yeah. And never got it because, well, Michael Ironside is probably really the better actor. Like the yeah. better fit for this movie. Imagine this movie with Shatner as that role. It'd be <laughs> a different movie. And yeah. Shatner does not shat it up too much. Not, no. Blows its load pretty much right away. Where yeah. you know who the killer is, you see in his face. And they take their time. Like yeah. every time he gets into a, a place and he's gonna kill somebody, it's they get build to up, build that right? suspense. And he has all these little quirks too, like he doesn't have a mask, mm -hmm. but he's got these other little things like that squeeze ball and that bell. He wears a necklace that has like a little bell on it, so you can kind of hear him. Another cool thing about this movie is that you kind of have two final girls left in this, right? Yeah. They're pretty yeah. strong female leads, which is pretty rare. Actually, you seem to care about the nurse, who is not really the, the main character, more than the main character. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. kind of neat they kind of turn that a little bit they turn yeah. the tables at the end it's like oh shit i didn't even care about deborah <laughs> yeah if you're a fan of slashers and want something a bit different that's a bit more down to earth down to earth smart more based in reality definitely check out visiting hours it's a canadian classic even just for iron size performance alone <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's worth the watch this is a refreshing movie really it's kind of akin to i think a little bit silence of the lambs yeah where you get to know the killer a lot it's totally kind of ahead of its time as far as the narrative of the slasher goes yeah and going against the grain right for yeah. all the all the shit that was coming out in, yeah. in 82. Exactly. Well, please check out Visiting Hours. And until next time, keep drinking.